good. Your graveyard. Let's try that again. And that's game. <laughs> nice. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be playing Spark Double Episode 5. Spark Double is a Planeswalker series that I've created on the channel and it's been doing pretty well. Um, and the idea behind the series is to play two Planeswalkers a deck. In today's episode we're going to be playing the Dragon God Brothers Nicole Bolas and Ugin. It's going to be a Explorer best of 3 list with average converted mana cost 3.3, 3 creatures, 31 non-creatures, and 26 lands. It's a Grixis based deck that has some utilities, some treasures, and it has some tricks here and there. Let's break it down for you guys. So Ugin here and Nicole Bolas, right? Um, very expensive spells here within the top end, and I wanted to feature most of the, if not all of the... Um, uh, Nicole Bolas Planeswalkers and all of the Ugin Planeswalkers. We've got one here and one in the sideboard here. Now, um, how do you cast these spells within a non-rampish uh, Grixis list? Well, I guess you play the ramp cards within the red colors, right? Which are Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Big Score here. Now, we've got another way to cast these uh, um, Planeswalkers here, which is uh, the Eldest Reborn. It's a saga that says, first chapter says, each opponent sacrifices a creature or a Planeswalker. Second chapter says, each opponent discards a card. Third chapter says, put target creature or Planeswalker card from your graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So, we basically cheat those out in a way, and we cheat them out by discarding them with Fable, with Tainted Indulgence, and with Big Score, and with getting them back later on with the Eldest Reborn. Of course, if we were able to make a lot of treasures and we had a lot of, a lot of lands, we can also hard cast them, but the easiest way is to basically turn 5, reanimate a big Ugin or a big Nicole Bolas, while this Nicole Bolas here you can just cast on turn 5, which is pretty good. Also, we can reanimate those with Nicole Bolas the Ravager because once we flip this creature and it becomes into Nicole Bolas the Planeswalker, you minus four and then you can put target creature or Planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. A graveyard. Um, underline that because that means your opponent's graveyard or yours. Usually, we tend to go for our big, big Planeswalkers here at the Game Enders. But if your opponent has a Bolas Planeswalker of their own or a Teferi, you can get it back with that. So it's pretty good. Uh, the rest of the deck here is just basically survival and removal. The main deck is very, very well equipped against creature decks, while the sideboard here is uh, very well equipped against control decks. Uh, we're, we're running for Fatal Push. It's a multi-purpose card, and I advise everyone that's trying to get into Explorer to craft these. It's an uncommon, it's easily craftable, and a 4 of is a must. Also, Thought Seize. Yes, it's a rare, but it's a multi-purpose card as well. You can run this automatically. You can run a 4 of of this in any black deck, <clears throat> and it'll work out great. It's, it's an amazing card, right? For Heartless Act, um, spot removal is very important against all the aggro creatures here. Uh, for Tainted Indulgence to discard our Planeswalkers or to cycle through our hand. We're running 26 lands, so we might uh, flood sometimes. Um, Murderous Rider here to deal with Planeswalkers, and it's also a creature that has lifelinks, so uh, it's a very good creature against aggro. When, when it dies, it goes back into your deck instead of going into the graveyard. For Fable here, two Anger of the Gods as our uh, board wipe of choice. We need a three mana board wipe a lot of times, and Anger of the Gods is so good because it exiles as well. Uh, two big scores here. Um, big score is pretty straightforward. We already explained it. Then one Nicole Bolas the Ravager for the Eldest Reborn. Two Nicole Bolas Dragon God. One Nicole Bolas God Pharaoh and two Ugins. And only one Nicole Bolas God Pharaoh because it's a very expensive spell, right? We don't want to run a lot of expensive spells over here. Within the sideboard here, we're running four copies of the rest. Two Noxious Grasp, um, it destroys target Planeswalker or creature that is green or white, so it's pretty good against the Fairy, and it's pretty good against Mono Green, and uh, basically Celestia Angels, or anything that, that has white or green that's aggro. 
to siphon insight uh, we sideboard the, uh, these in um, against control mainly or heavy counter spell midrange and we tend to steal their um, wing cons or their counter spells and use them against them whether runestone here is for graveyard hate and deck hate since a lot of aggro decks are going to be running um, collected company this card is so good against the company right and i wanted a graveyard hate card that has utility against um, um, collected company so even if they discard or do anything they can't get nothing back from the graveyard they can't fetch nothing from the deck so this this is a great sideboard card against multiple decks um, one mystical dispute and only one copy and two memory deluges um, for these these cards are all for our control matchups and one uh, two ugin the ineffable we sideboard Ugin the Ineffable usually when when we're playing against a aggro list. We take out Nicole Bolas the God Pharaoh or, and Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Or sometimes you just take out Ugin the Spirit Dragon and you sideboard uh, Ugin the Ineffable since it costs less. But usually we opt to go for Nicole Bolas here because when you cast Ugin the Ineffable, your other Ugin, the big one, now costs two less to cast thanks um, to this Ugin's effect. So that's the idea here you sideboard this in um, against aggro because you just can't really cast these unless you have the eldest reborn and even the eldest reborn in itself it's a five mana card so you have to be wary of that so our sideboard is very well equipped against um, control and mid-range decks and our main deck is very well equipped against uh, creature decks and that's the idea here we have a bit of um graveyard hate and we also have uh basically spot removal for artifacts and enchantments if we face a deck that's heavy on those as well within the mana base here we're running the triome the dual lands we're running the shocked lands i only have one of each so i'm a budget player when it comes to explorers so you have to excuse the mana base of course if you have the cards and you can just uh put any land that you like um and make it work i'm running one copy of of one basic swamp here because of field of ruin mainly a lot of people when they see that we're running non-basics they try to field the ruin our lands and basically destroy them so one swamp here basically tells them or lies to them and tells them that we have basics in the deck so that's the idea here also one hall one takanuma here to get our planeswalkers back if we need to discard them if we're in a pinch and then the rest is pretty straightforward so yeah that does it for the deck i hope you guys enjoy the gameplay if you do make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new and let me know if you guys have been enjoying the explorer content so far i'm not giving up on standard i'm just going to feature both of them on the channel so yeah with that being said enjoy the gameplay enjoy the video and i'll see you guys later with another video okay Okay. All right, they mulliganed. Seems awful for them, but is it mono red? Yeah, it is mono red. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let's see what they got here. Okay, we're gonna take two anyway, so might as well kill the one with the two power. We're gonna play this next turn as well. Anger of the Gods is a nice draw. We have to stay um, aware of the den there, so Heartless Act should be good. We also need Planeswalkers to discard and something to discard them with. Yeah, but their start has been terrible. Yeah, they had to mulligan. Okay. Yeah, we run it back, I guess. I mean...
Give me two Ugins the Ineffable here. And these are super slow against them, aren't they? Okay, they're playing mono red though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna sideboard in some uh, one memory deluge here just in case we are desperate and we need to find some answers yeah like finding an anger of the gods here That's fine by me. Okay. Mm, this is difficult. So we actually need to hit this on curve. It should be pretty decent against them. But we also need to hold up the uh, Heartless Act. <clears throat> Which I guess we won't. Yeah, Annex. Expected. I guess we should have killed the Annex bef before the uh, Bone Crusher resolved here. We discarded another Bone Crusher. Do they have Ember Cleave in hand? Probably. Yeah. This is screaming Ember Cleave. Or no? Ooh. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, I mean, we take another turn looking with Memory Deluge, we <clears throat> we lose here drastically. Give me one Duress, just to remove something that, like an Umber Cleave or a Chandra here. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any, mo any more time, our hand sucked against them. Okay, let's hope we start with a good hand here. Do we take two? Fry? Huh. Yeah. Yikes. They didn't draw a creature, which is pretty good. We don't need all these fables. Okay, that's pretty good. Huh. Hmm. Gladly. Seriously. Just remove their creatures and uh you're you're in a very good position here. And that's terrible for us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they 
sacrifice that, okay. <clears throat> That's pretty unfortunate. We're gonna discard that. Oh, the lands are terrible here. Hopefully no creature. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Recklessness and fear are the my plans do not include you. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on now. Lies beyond vision. Please stop deck something better than that. Nice. Well, is it? Secrets manifest before you. Yeah, we need to gain that life. Hopefully no burn spells. It's Ember Cleave. Doesn't seem like it. Bathe in ghost fire. We need to gain life with the murderous rider here. Okay. That's pretty bad for us. We need to, to get some value off of these quickly. Hmm. Yikes. Hmm. Okay. Close to death here. Very close to death. Yeah, that's fine. I must return to my meditation. That's pretty good. Another Ugin. Nice. Every exploit ripples. Truth lies beyond vision. Oh. Roman app ruins. Okay, they've got nothing to discard here, but we have a draw. Hopefully, hopefully no lands here. Let's try again. <laughs> We're drawing too many lands here, it seems like. Okay. Let's pass. 
Yeah, the rider gaining us life has to be pretty good here. Okay. Nice, nice. We played it amazingly well here. Nice. All right. Seems like opponent is going to go first here. Let's see what we're playing against. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep this. Hmm. We're flooding, but thankfully we have something to flood for. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Uh. Okay. We've got a lot of removal. These are probably Doom Scars, or maybe Starnheim Unleashed. You never know, though. It's Explorer, so. Okay. Nothing. Stalemate. That's okay. We don't want to lose life here, so let's just play these tapped. <clears throat> we have our removal available. Oh, it is control. Okay, so saw it coming, right? Yeah, our hand is terrible against them at the moment. So what we do, since it's control, Yeah, we pass. We pass here. Yeah, they're playing a ton of basics here. A ton of basics. So it is control. Yeah, they have the upper hand for sure. They have the counter spells here. We've got nothing. They know it. Our deck is far more equipped against creatures. Another foretellable card. Yikes. just have them discard something here so if we top deck a land next turn we cast Nicole Volus or I guess they just counter this yeah so I guess we don't cast the Volus or maybe we do we're tapped out so they can cast the Teferi here comfortably or maybe even a Shark Typhoon. If they cast a Shark Typhoon, I think we... We scoop here. We sideboard and then we move on, right? Because our deck is just really not equipped like that. Hmm. I'm going to discard the Anger of the Gods here. They've got Behold and Memory Deluge. Huh.
Yeah, we do run basics. We did learn our lesson here. You're not really going to do much by doing that. But only one basic though. See if we can resolve this. We drew four of them so far. We're not drawing any lands, which is putting us significantly behind here. I don't want to draw and look for the lands and have to discard later on. So we cut we cast the Nicole Bolus next turn. And uh, which means they counter it for sure. Which is not a problem because we end up getting it back, right? I mean, what's the end game here? We haven't seen a Teferi, we haven't seen nothing. They have so many cards still, it's insane. They have to discard something here, but so do we. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I really don't want to spend my treasures, bro. We had so many chances to draw cards. It's insane. Of course they're going to counter this. Yeah, but we get it back. Unless they bounce this, of course. Oh yeah, they can play Teferi and bounce this. Or they can bounce it now with the Ottawara. Or march it? Okay. They caught up to our game plan here, for sure. I think they're going to end up countering all of them. But that's what, you know. Ooh, they're digging. Uh, hello? Opponent? I'm keeping the murderous rider for a uh, Teferi. They let it through. They probably found another march or something. <coughs> Excuse me. No, oh, farewell, yeah. Farewell is literally farewell. Oh, that's disgusting. That's nasty. Eleven mana. I'll show restraint. Keep up the pace. Okay. Of course they protect the Teferi here. They might have another one easily here. You never know, if that's a Starnheim Unleashed, we're scooping right away because there's nothing we can do unless we try to top deck an Ugin here. Yeah, 
that's just a march. Yeah, they dealt with most of our things here. Ugin. Yeah, Ugin gets countered here. What are we doing? And these field of ruins are so annoying, bro. They're so annoying. Yeah, we only run one basic. We figured it out by now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We need a card draw. That's probably another solid coming. How annoying. Yeah, we can't resolve the Ugin, to be honest. Let's see if they want to counter this. Fable should be pretty decent for us here, but they might have a. I mean, it's either now or never, right? They have two cards in hand. They're going to counter the Ugin. If they do, we just move on, I guess. Wow. What? Unutilized knowledge Maybe a Fateful Absence? Yeah. It's a primary card in that deck. Yep. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I guess we just play lands. We can't compete like that, of course not. Of course you can't compete like that. that which is why we just need to scoop and sideboard. Like, we have no hope in this game. If they resolve it to fairy, there's nothing we can do about it. It's pretty unfortunate here, yeah, and a memory deluge, okay, memory deluge is an instant scoop, because they have tons of mana, right, they can literally cast the card twice. Give me all of these, all of these, I take out this, take out this, take out the push, give me, give me all of these as well, and both of these. What else do we take out? Uh... Hmm. What do we take out? That's significantly bad against them. I guess all of this is good. We've got three, six, seven, eight planeswalkers. They have murderous rider, so it's either we keep this or the murderous rider. Yeah, we need the um I don't even want big score anymore. We can just grind, I guess. We got game one easily here. <clears throat> the nice thing is is that yeah, we have to mulligan that okay we've got the rest next turn which is pretty good we've also uh yeah this can come in tapped i don't care Hmm. And the gate is annoying. Portable hole, they still have this in the main deck. 
It literally does nothing. Okay, both of these have to be black here. They do have a field of ruin in hand. So we've got a murderous rider that we can cast. Let's cast the murderous rider here. Seriously. Start taking away some of that um, damage. Or some of those life points. Let's see what they've drawn here though. Yeah, your portable hole does nothing. Your sensor does nothing as well. They're thinking. They're thinking. They're thinking about the last guard here. Saw it coming. Yeah, they're in trouble now. They need to draw, draw something significant here. You need to cycle that sensor there. Hopefully they didn't top deck a... Or, I hope they did. We're not gonna cast the bolus into a sensor like that. If we're told, yikes, it's terrible. gonna pass they need to deal with this somehow Siphon Insight should be pretty good here. Takes a counter away. It eats a counter. Yeah, but we still get it though. Huh. I guess let's see if they have a uh, interaction for the rider here. Or maybe that's just the sensor here. Let's see what they're about. Let's see what that third card is. Sejuari? Nice. They do have an Emperor here, which is pretty good. <clears throat> If they're really going for the hall, oh, nice. Okay, nice. They need to exile something. Portable hole gone. No attacks. Yeah, all we needed is for them to tap one time. Yeah, they, they just keep going for the hall here, which is fine. You're not going to get my Nicole Bolas here. <laughs> we still have an Emperor that can make us a ton of um, creatures.
Nice. That's pretty good. We're way ahead now. Way ahead. They need answers here. Hall is not going to do it. <clears throat> Let's see if they want to counter this. They'll probably Jwari it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's cast the Nicole Bolas next turn and get a Teferi off of them, hopefully. Or maybe even a Wandering Emperor or a Shark Typhoon. Any permanent that they might run. Hopefully, not a portable hole here, I hope. They foretold, though, which is a big yikes. I have to eat away their lands now. Land destruction of our own. <laughs> nice. Let your weak minds crumble. Yeah, this bolus gets countered easily. Oh, the hall is going to kill our Nicole Bolas here. What have we done? At least they tap. Which is something. That's fine. Nice. Nice, we got a Doom Scar. Aww. A tactical retreat is in order. Okay, they've been top decking great here. See if they want to counter that. It's probably a counter spell for sure. <clears throat> I guess not. Discard their card, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty awful. <laughs> My intellect is without limit. Mm, let's get a blue source down. We pass, we we make a copy of the shaman here. Yeah, they're not giving up, but... Hello? Yeah, we can do that every turn. Which is pretty good. Your graveyard. Let's try that again. And that's game. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yep, nice. Okay, we're um, we're doing pretty well here, I think. Since we're going to be on the draw, let's get Ugin the Ineffable here. Not that it really matters that much, but 
we have to dismantle their hand with discard spells so hopefully we draw a lot of them we have to take away their counter spells for sure I'm gonna go first we're going second the rest is pretty nice here okay Nice, two duresses. Sure. Very helpful here. Let's take away their, yeah, their behold. It's very important. Let's pass. Let's not cast this just yet. Let's cast it on like turn four. Or when we actually have the mana to pay for the uh, make disappear. I think that's the right play. Let's cast it now. See if they want to counter it. It's definitely very annoying for them, but it's very annoying for us as well for, uh, for them to have counter spells like that. Uh, they, they cast Behold. Nice. I'm pretty happy about that one. For sure. Yeah, I kept two on top. Okay. Let's see. Legion Angel. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. I guess I'm happy if they tap. I am happy if they tap for a Legion Angel here. Ah, yeah, we kill the first one. Alright, we kind of need our Fable token here to pop off make some treasures they get another one we kind of need removal desperately which we don't have in the deck let's see what they decide to do here they have make disappear online as well Yeah, they took away the land. My schemes are never ending. That's pretty good for us. I guess we need to memory deluge and find more discard spells. Hope to at least. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Oh, wow. What? Why? Mystical Dispute. Oh, they probably have one. Huh. Maybe we should have gone to land there. We can get them to tap here. They chose to foretell. Excuse 
excuse me for the sound by the way guys like it's not under my control in any way it's an NTG arena bug and if it's the sound of um, outside people like that then you know I didn't know they played uh, Legion Angel, to be honest. We removed all of our removal from the deck. Yeah, discard a spell here, please. No more Legion Angels, which is pretty good. Yeah, we get this Ugin back if you counter it. Yeah, but I'm pretty happy about this. It's probably a Doomscar, which we know they run. Now this Ugin costs 6, which is pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Away with you, Azorius player. Away with you. Your deck sucks, Azorius player. It really does. I mean, 